th what you're saying here is not what you read about in books. This is not no, what you no. hear about when you go to you know meditation retreats. No, or this is this is like a different level of understanding, which kind of allows you to start to piece together you know this this crazy massive universe we live in. Mm -hmm. It's like we can't just be and, and you don't hear that's the next steps. They want to be better. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's, the, okay. what's the next steps? Yes. Well. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the Zen Hard Podcast. This is going to be a really interesting conversation. Um, for those of you who are spiritually open, um, for those of you who are trying to understand more about life, learn about the mind, the body, the soul, consciousness, things like that, we're going to be diving in deep. Um, I have a very special and interesting guest on this episode. Uh, a friend of mine who knows this individual told me about him, told me about how he's impacted millions of people in Latin America, uh, mostly in Mexico and Spain, and how he's someone who I have to meet because as a lot of you guys know, um, I've been learning a lot uh, in that whole realm. I'm very interested in understanding what we're, what we're all about, what we're here for, how to manifest things in life. And when I got connected with our guest here, who I'm gonna introduce in a second, we had some really interesting conversations. Uh, we met up two times over the last two weeks. We ended up talking for over an hour and we decided we need to we need to do a podcast together because these conversations got really interesting. And the way he thinks is kind of in a, at a different level than most people that I've been talking to here. So I wanna introduce our guest, Carlos Arco. Uh, he has impacted millions of lives in Latin America. He's actually conducted over 140,000 personal one-on-one -on -one sessions with clients, which is an astronomical number. So Carlos. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to the Zen Hard Podcast. How are you doing? Thank you, thank you. We're gonna have a, a pretty interesting conversation today. Yes, I, I hope so. And and just to be clear, your English is not your first language. No, So if, sorry for that. If I have some mistakes, sorry. I don't think English is anyone's first language, right? We come into this world with no language and then we learn yes. them. So. Um, I'm here to uh, support if, if any of the words come out wrong or if I can help um, push sentences along. Not and, and, and I'm going to do my, 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 my best to speak better than I can. Well, you you would do a lot better than if I was trying to speak in Spanish. Okay, that's so, it. <laughs> astronomically better. Um, so I have a lot of different places I want to dive into. Um, I think that before we dive into certain topics, we should define what certain things mean, right? Because words are are limiting we've created them to to uh describe things right so when we say things like the mind or the soul or consciousness people perceive those words differently yes so if you can just take a minute to to define what is the mind what is the soul what is the consciousness so that as we have these conversations people know exactly what we're talking about i think it would be a good place to start off well uh most of the people they think they are who see us in the in the mirror you know the first of all the physical body but uh, uh how the how the humankind is like a is more complex that than, than, than that like uh, that means uh the person has a emotional body physical body mind body and conscious body that means sense like uh, there's different uh, ways to understanding who is the human kind or who is the human being. That means um, physical, we can say where's the mind physical is in the brain. If we talk about emotions, okay, some things is the heart. If we think about the consciousness, again, a lot of people think it's in the mind. And we think about soul, mm, there is a lot of ways or things how we can describe the soul. The soul is one word I don't use much because I use more the, the being, the you like a being more than the soul because a being have more understanding who you are with only you think in the soul. That makes sense? So a, a being is, uh, is timeless. It's not bound to yes. this, uh, this lifetime. Yes, in being is more than only being somebody. It's like a, the big being, like a, the, the source of all the beings. Like, that makes sense? Yep. Okay, well, that, if we talk about the mind, it's not the brain. 
and all the people think the mind is attached directly to the brain. That means the brain is more physical, how we know, and it's like a transductor. That means they take a lot of vibrations about our senses and they bring all the vibrations together and can have or move that, all that information and takes and make the vibration higher and put it in, in the consciousness. So are you saying that that the ideas don't come from the, the brain? They're No, the brain only is like a computer or the brain of the computer. They uh, can process the information, yep. not have the information. So where does the information come from? Well, it's around everybody. It's like, a, uh, it's like a, what is the information you have when you're making a call with somebody by the cell phone? You don't see the information in the air about the, the sounds or the words or the conversation. You don't see nothing. Or if you send a, a video, if you send a, a, a photo, cell phone to cell phone, you don't see nothing about that information. Right. But it's there. Right. It's the same. All the ideas are around the people. It's in, it's in the air. So how do we access certain levels of, of ideas, right? If we're like, let's say we're operating in a state where our lives are... Um, not making the progress we want them to make and we want to do something greater. How do we ac access the ideas and the thoughts that lead us, you know, where we want to go? Mm -hmm. All depends on what is your vibration state. If you have a very, mm, um, very dark vibration or very like a slow vibration, you're going to have access to the information is in that level. But uh, if you, use some kind of meditation or practice and good thoughts and a lot of things you need to do for you can hire your vibration. That means when you are higher and higher your vibration, you are going to take more allowance to yourself to have the, the way to go to that place that are better information. This depends on that vibration. That makes sense. So basically the your your vibration is basically kind of your how your being is existing. Mm -hmm. And based on kind of where you are in the spectrum, you're allowing different kind of thought patterns into yes. that computer of your brain. Yes. Which I told you the story about how when I was driving from Los Angeles to Florida, my my whole business basically exploded. I had I just got back from a personal development event and I was um really raising my vibration, right? We were doing meditations, we we're doing exercises, energy work. And during the drive, I was seemingly getting all these ideas mm -hmm. that didn't come from me because I couldn't, I'd never had those ideas before. It was there in the air, but you, you, don't, you, you don't have the access to that because your vibration do not was, sometimes it's not good or bad, it's related. It's, um, it's like, a, if you like to, uh, to make exercises, yep. you're going to find people to like the exercise, you know? Yep. That, that makes sense? Right. But if you don't like it, you're not going to see that people in your life. You right, know? Maybe right. Maybe you can see it there, but it's not in your daily basis, you know? So it's not always good or bad vibrations. No. It's just that you attract similar. And vibrations are not just like up and down, right? They're more no, complex. Frequencies, yes. Frequencies and everything, yes. And, and, and what is there in that energy? Because the vibrations can be not only like a, a, a number of high or lower is also like a is something i can say like that but it's not only like that like a color yeah like a, what is the purpose of that what is the object of that is more no it's not only like a, a frequency with the number we know we use another stuff yeah so when when people are trying to accomplish something in life um but they're consistently focused on the fact that they don't have that thing yet they're creating a pattern, a vibrational pattern or a frequency that matches the not having, right? Mm -hmm. The needing, mm -hmm. which gets them more of that. Yes. So so kind of what's important is to figure out how to feel as if you've already accomplished what you want to accomplish. And then your mind will allow the thoughts in to get you there. Is that a good mm -hmm. way to describe it? Just can be one way. Oh, we can uh, put this idea. It's like a, if you go to the library. What was it? A, a library. 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 Yes. You go to the library and then you are looking for a book. But uh, in a specific book, you are surrounded to thousands of books there. Yep. But you have the goal 
and you want only I don't know uh, maybe a uh, uh, what book you you can say uh, Ernest Hemingway okay first Ernest Hemingway. first author that came to my mind okay and you're looking for Ernest Hemingway some book of him okay and you're not going to see any 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 other books around you right you're going to ask for that and you're going to look for that until you have it in your hand right and you read right it's the same there's a lot of thoughts around you but what you are your goals what you are your focus is when you're going to find and when you're going to leave. Okay, that ma that makes sense. But I, I do want to address something. So a lot of you know a lot of what I want to go through in this podcast is I, I feel like there's um, there's lots of forces at play in society that are driving people you know to not be living lives of fulfillment, not achieving what they want. Yes. Um, now you know people are spending a lot of time on social media, uh, on their computers, on their phones, and they're they're seeing all these things, right? They open their Instagram account and they see, you know, someone else living this life that they think they want. You know, this guy is traveling or he's got all these girls or these cars or whatever he well, has. Well, first of all, is that, that they give you, you the idea to what you need also if you don't need it. Right. Mm -hmm. So- A false idea of need, you know? It's a false idea of need. And it's also a separation from that. Mm -hmm. So, so what does that, where does that lead someone if they're consistently consuming things like that and it's changing their thoughts? Like, where does someone go if they are living that way? Well, the first thought all that kind of situation give to the people is to be insufficient. Unsufficient? Insufficient. Insufficient, yes. That's the first idea. If you like ask, they're not good enough. Yes. If you ask to everybody, 99% or more of the people feel like that. Wow. It's true. I mean, I feel insufficient all the time. Also, you you have success. And I have relative success. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that would look at my life and say, how can you feel insufficient? Mm -hmm. But almost on a daily basis, I have a time where I feel insufficient. Because you're, you're hitting to that idea thousands of times daily. Yeah. If so, you look at any, any place, if you have a good car, I see your car, it's very good. Yeah. But uh, it's not enough. No. It also... One year after this time, you need a new one. Yeah. Because it's not, it's not the same feeling that you have today. Yeah. You, you, the, and, and the, but the thing for me is that I, I learned this lesson early on. I learned that you're never going to get, get to where you want to go. You're never going to have the, you know, nothing ever satisfies you. <laughs> Jeff Bezos from Amazon still has a huge vision that he wants to get to. Right. But anyone else would say he's at the top, Yes, but he's probably further away from his goals than we are. Yes. Right. So I learned this a long time ago that you you need to enjoy the journey, but I still find myself falling into the trap of feeling insufficient. Sometimes what I say is if you make today, I don't know, ten thousand dollars yearly, that is gonna no, it's not enough. If you make hundred, it's not enough. If you make million, it's not enough. If you make one hundred million, it's not enough. Yeah. Never is going to be it's never enough. enough. Yes. But 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 the people think it's because something they're broke in them, in them, but it's not. Yeah. It's more all the society is hitting you daily for that idea. Well, what would you say to someone who's listening right now that's like, okay, like, I get it. It'll never be enough, but I still want to make more, right? Because, like, it, it'll at least make me feel better. Like, how do you... Well, never is going to... Nobody is never... With that path, never is going to feel the satisfaction of the life. Never. And do you believe that in feeling the satisfaction, you manifest the life you want anyway? Yes, you can be millionaire if you want, but uh, that don't make sense if you don't have the satisfaction in your life. That means a lot of people think they first of all need to have that is that is lacking the life, and then they're going to have the satisfaction or the freedom or the I don't know what they imagine that they need. Okay. Yeah. But it's not true. When you have the satisfaction today, the satisfaction is the path to you can achieve every fun, every, everything you need right. or you want. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so I've been doing a personal kind of experiment. Uh, I like to use the word manifestation, like creating, right? Um, I want to get your take on my philosophy and see what your opinion is on it. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing a personal experiment where um, I told you I go on my walks every morning. Yes. Um, for the last probably year and a half, I've been envisioning very deeply uh, walking to a up onto a podium at a college commencement ceremony 
and giving a speech about how I've been envisioning this every day for the last X amount of time. And now I'm finally here. And I've given the speech in my head probably 200 times now. And I'm just waiting for the time to catch up to, to make that happen. It's a social experiment for myself to start to learn more about how if you feel as if something's already happened, it's just a matter of time until it happens. Mm -hmm. Am I thinking about manifestation in the same light that you would say is correct or? Let me explain you this. That's one of the ways when you repeat yourself something until you believe in that and then you manifestate that. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Yep. That's the way you are taking. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I what I teach, what I share with the people is different because you are a part of that only one decision. Mm -hmm. You don't need to repeat 200, 300 times something. Right. You can make a decision with me today in this moment, and that is enough. To, you can have that experience, that manifestation, that, that when you're the podium and everything. We, we don't need to repeat and repeat and repeat because it's just like a, you're trying to convince yourself something you don't have, you know? Well, I when I do, when I repeat it, it's not that I'm trying to convince myself. It's that I'm trying to live in the frequency as I, if I that, that's that. allowing the thoughts to make mm -hmm. it happen. But they're taking you a lot of effort. Yeah. Because you need to think in that several times yeah. when you don't need it to you achieve that. Right. It's like a, this is the main difference between you need to, you are in the point A and you need to be in the point B. Okay. And this is it's a, a path. Yep. You need to travel all that path. Yep. The normal way is to walk in that path step by step by step until you are in the point B. Yep. That's something a lot of um, things are already like, uh, that's the way everybody, I don't know, go to the work every day, try to achieve something. Yep. Okay. It's like a linear creation. It's like yeah. you have to do this that, and then good, that and that, then that's this. That's a good sentence, liner, yeah. liner cre creation. Yes. Yeah. Well, but uh, what's happening, you are in the point B and only you close your eyes and you open your eyes and you're on the point B. That's it. There yeah. is not path. There is not, you don't need to effort, effort your, yourself to go step by step until you are in the point B. Yeah, and, and I want to uncover that for a moment because I think you the way you talk about this stuff is, is like a layer deeper than I do. So like when I think about creation, um, I think that there's, there's linear creation and then there's kind of like a multi-dimensional creation. Yes, and that's what I do. But I want to explain my side of it, and then I want to hear what your take is on that, because this is something I've been thinking about, talking about for a long time. Most people try to create linearly. They say, you know, I want to, you know, move and buy this house. So in order to do that, I need to get this job, then I need to get this promotion, then I need to meet this person. This person needs to say that to this person. I need to then be able to sell this, get that, go there, this, and then boom, and I, I get there. I already. <laughs> exactly. And and in our universe of unlimited possibilities, what are the odds that that's all going to happen? Zero, yes. right? Um, but most people, that's how they try to create. And in in that journey, since there's unlimited possibilities and things don't happen the way that they expect them to, yes. their, their frequency and their this, vibration the, becomes... The expectations kill yourself. Yeah, because they their frequency then becomes, oh, I this didn't happen right or this isn't happening right, which gets them more of that. And again, this is my philosophy. I want to hear what your thoughts are. On the multidimensional creation, that's what I've been calling it recently, it's feel as if you've already achieved the thing and then let go and, and let the universe do what it needs to do to get you there because there's unlimited possibilities yes. and just continuously feel that way. That's how I've created, you know, my quote unquote success. And, and, you know, that's how I've gotten to where I'm at. But I'm curious, how does that philosophy align with, with your teachings and your understanding of how the universe works? Okay. Well, first of all, the word creation is something you're putting in your back. That if you're thinking in creation, this, there is effort. Yep. Okay. We need to take away the word creation. Okay. First of all. Okay. Second. Instead of the creation, we need to use manifestation. Okay. Why we are using manifestation? Because the creation is already there. Ah. It's about God, not about our, our humankind. Just, just to be clear, hold on, just so everyone, because I, I understand what you're saying. I just want to make sure people are following. You're saying that every version of ourselves, every version of our are lives already. has yeah, it already exists in, in something that our tiny human minds can't really comprehend. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, that is like a possibility. So there's a version of me that, you know, is living in in mm -hmm. India. There's a version of me that has one arm. There's a and and that is not, not is not active because your consciousness is not there. My consciousness is in this it, version. Yes. And you're saying you can basically move your consciousness to yes. other. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're not taking a step by step to the point A to the point B. You can just move your consciousness directly to whatever yes. point. Yes. And then what happens to this point? Does it just kind of exist on, but you're not this aware point of it? Comes on the same. And the, and, and, and the same place is, is already there. It's like a, the, nothing is moving. It's only your consciousness is given the activity or this is like on. Yeah. And then another is off. When you move your consciousness to another point, the, the another point is on and this is off already. So would, let's just say, and again, this is, we're going probably over a lot of people's heads here. They probably, maybe there's certain people that are, that are like, oh my God, I need to hear more about this. I'm going to try to like, you know, bring it back down for a second. So you're saying that, you know, consciousness or let's just say the God or the universe is the manifestation of everything in every way possible. And there's every version of everything exists already. Uh, there, there is the creation of everything. Yeah. And the manifestation is about us. When you put your consciousness in one point of the creation. Yeah. And right. then you manifestate that point only when you are aware of that, you know? Yes. And, and just, I'm just trying to, to, uh, not, I don't want to say dumb it down, but make it a little bit easier to, to digest. Thank Essentially you. every person has their, you know, starting and ending point in their life, which is time. Mm -hmm. You're saying that all time already exists. Yes. It just depends where At our consciousness is at the same time. So, and, and also every possible scenario also already exists at the same time. Yes. And we're able to basically, if we want to change our lives, move from one point, in, uh, move our consciousness from one point in time and, and, you know, reality to another point in time in reality. Now, if we did that, would we be aware that we did that? Sometimes you can, all depends uh, how you often can do that constant with consciousness. Gotcha. But uh, the most of the people do not be aware much about it. This is because what you're saying here is not what you read about in books. This is not no, what you no. hear about when you go to you know meditation retreats. No, or, it's, it's the way I'm born. This is this is like a different level of understanding, which kind of allows you to start to piece together you know this this crazy massive universe we live in. Mm -hmm. It's like we can't just be. And, and you don't hear that the next steps are going to be better. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's, the, what's the next steps? Yes. Well, we are there in the manifestation. Yeah. Okay. We have the creation. It's a it's, it's God create, yep. created everything already. Yep. The manifestation is what you take for that creation and make your reality like that because you put your consciousness there. Yep. That makes sense. Yes. Okay. The third step is you can understanding you are very much manifesting something. Because yeah. if not, you don't be here. You don't have the consciousness of this moment. Understanding that you're, say that one more time, understanding. You already are manifested something. Already manifested it. Understanding yes. that you've already manifested it. Yeah. This moment, we are manifested this, this we moment. We manifested this yes. podcast right now. Mm -hmm. That means you don't need to learn how to manifest something. Right. That means how you can be more, um, um, how you can more have more consciousness what you are manifesting. Gotcha. And how can you be more, have more consciousness about what you're well, manifesting? Have a higher frequency. With a higher frequency, you are going to be more aware of what is true. What is, what is the, the, what is um, beyond what you can see right now? And, and in having like, they say the matrix. Yeah. Right. 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 And, and in having a low frequency, for example, the mind can't comprehend what it's like to no. understand what a high frequency is like. I, so when you have a low frequency, you're more aware of like the physical world around yes, you, right? And the, the worries and the, yeah, the problems. The yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's where most people are, are living, mm -hmm. right? So as your vibration rises, you kind of transcend above that. Yes. So people listening might be like, yeah, I wish I could just let go of my worries. Mm -hmm. I wish I could just let go of my stresses and my anxieties. How do I do it? I can do it for the people. How do we do it? Well, we have a system to help the people. And also, um, I have like uh, the skills to do it for somebody else. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how would somebody um, experience that, or or work with you, or like? Yes, in seconds. In seconds. Mm -hmm. it, it would... right, right, right now, how you can describe your mind? 
right now, how can I describe my mind? Yeah, it's, there's a, a lot of information. It's not. It's something is taking your, I don't know, your thinking. My like mind that. is on autopilot right now. It's kind of just directing me through this conversation. Okay. I'm not really thinking. Well, the, we cannot do much with that because you're fine in this moment. You know, This moment's a good one. Okay. Now, what about if someone's, you know, by themselves and they're, they've been living a certain way for years and they really want to make a change in life? What kind of habits or, or, or practice? Where do they start? Well, the habits comes later. Okay. Because first of all is what your goals are. Mm -hmm. If you don't have your goals in well, your habits is not going to be well. Right. You cannot, you cannot go there and change your habits first. You need to be aware about where you are and what you want to be. Okay. And when you're aware of that, that means, okay, what is the habits or the change what I need to do? Okay. Mm -hmm. So someone listening who maybe they're, you know, 21 years old, they just graduated, they're, you know, working a job that they don't want to be in, they they have impulsive behaviors, maybe they're, you know, they're, they're eating foods that they don't want to be eating or they're indulging in things that they know aren't good for them. They can't seem to break these cycles and they, they're like, I just want to do something. I'm trying, you know, all these different things. What do you, what's your advice for them? Where do they start? First of all, you need to stop. Okay. Everything you are doing, you need to stop. Yeah. Okay. Then the second, the second step, you need to be aware about where you are. Yep. Third, you need to be aware where you want to go or where you want to be or who you want and to be. And how, how, how specific do you need to be aware of it? Like. I need, I want to be, you know, with this kind of person in this home, with this on the wall, in this that, car. That, or like, that is going to be the first of everything because it's the what the people think have the value. Yeah. But there is not the value. Right. But the, in, in the beginning, that can help. So the more specific you are about what, where you want to be, the better? In the beginning. In the beginning. But when you are aware of our more transcendent goals, you don't want the specifics because you know there is a way you can have better than you can think. Gotcha. You know that you there's are, an existence the that is way beyond what you can yeah, comprehend. You, you only say thanks because in this moment I have everything better what I can dream, I can think. Thanks because every time I can be like a um, surprise. What is the... Transcend? No, when you can be like a, like when, when you can say, I didn't expect this and I have better. Oh, like surprise? Surprise. Yeah. Yes. You can be surprised every moment. Yeah. That's freedom. Right. Because you don't, ha you don't want to control anything. Right. Because then that point, you understanding you don't control nothing. But then how do people navigate this world we live in, right? It's like it, it, there's so many constraints and bars and you got to make money and you have to do this. And there's so you much. You have everything because but that are very different. If you go um, to achieve something, you are in, you are like um, trying to grab something in your future. Does right. that make sense? Yeah. And that's not the same when you do what you want to do this moment and everything comes to you. Right. That's a very different way. Right. Which is, I understand that, but it's like people listening, like how do they start living that way? So they, they say, stop what they they're need, doing. They, they need clear to stop. what they want. Yes. And they need to stop to be aware of that, to change the habits. Yeah. Because already with, they know where, where, where in this moment and what they want to be, that have a goals already there. Mm -hmm. And then they will, can start to change the habits. So basically letting go of the attachments and the stress and, and being aware of where they want to go, mm -hmm. things will naturally start to happen mm -hmm. for them. Well, because I understand that it's very difficult to the people to go stop everything and try to be aware where they are at that moment. For the average people, it's very difficult to do that. Yeah. Because need need a lot of will. Yeah. A lot. Right. And there's not something is easy. Because of that, I have my system. Because of that, also I do it for the people. Yeah. Because I can do that for somebody. They don't need to do it by themselves. Uh, there is a lot of things there. There are, are courses, are there are you know, systems and everything. But they try to you can you do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. How somebody is doing 
but themselves in that moment would they, they, they don't can. Right. They're going to feel like uh, they're going to try and they're going to they're going to leave everything there because they cannot do it. They cannot achieve it. So I, I think that for someone on their own, it's challenging. But if you put a few habits in place, it's easier to. But uh, the, how they can have that habits if they don't have that will? Well, I'm saying you would need enough will to do the first thing, right? Maybe it's get up and go for a walk in the morning before you look at your phone, right? Where, you, where you're letting go and you're... Yeah, may, maybe they're going to be like, uh, I don't know, 20% of people can do that. Yeah. But they're going to be 80% of people, they want to, but they don't can. Yeah, right. So what is what is the the future of this timeline look like? The people, the more well, and more people I wake can, up to I can, this? I can take that 80% of people, they cannot do something because they don't have the will or they are like a fighting by themselves a lot and then everything stops there. Yeah. I can take that people and do it myself to them. Yeah. They don't need to do nothing. Which is why you've done 140,000 yes. sessions with people. Yes. Which by the way, how many years is that over? Like uh, 20. 20 years, 140,000 yes. sessions. You guys could do the math. That is a lot of, se that's a lot yeah. of sessions. Today I give like a, between 900 and 12, 1200 uh, sessions monthly. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. So what is, uh, you know, what, what is possible for this world? You know, what's the best case scenario for, for society, I guess, in, in this version of reality? Well, part of the, what I, what I share is the humankind today is, uh, um, homo sapiens, sapiens. That homo means, sapiens, sapiens. Yes. Okay. This boat is, this is, is twice. Okay. It's twice. But uh, it's take to the almost sapiens sapiens to homo con consciousness ah. to be aware of the truth to be aware of really who you are, know what you are living and you think you are the ego the 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 that being that like an ego like it's only what what is manifested it's right. not what you are right you are a being uh, before you are manifested. Right. So people are becoming more aware to that now. Yes. But but the, uh, according to the fact that everything already exists at once, there is a timeline of humanity that are, is already there. Yes. Right? Yes. So, but in this version of where consciousness lies for both of us. So so then that's another question. Can my consciousness be in one place and yours be in another and we're here together? Or do we need to be in one timeline to be? No. Can, can, can a consciousness can be in different scenarios yeah. or possibilities and we can share a little point something. Oh, it's like an intersection of the points. Yes. It's like a, maybe in the families, I mean, sometimes we don't be aware, but a, each of the member of the family can have a different reality. Somebody say, ah, we don't have money. And I'll say, we have plenty of money. And they live in the same roof. Right. Yeah, it's very and crazy. It's totally different. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. So when did this whole journey begin for you? When I born. Mm -hmm. But you were born, you know, you were like, when did you start having these realizations? Like, uh, when I born, but uh, I, I had, I had a, like a normal life, but I always, I help people. Yeah. But I only knowing that like a 20 years ago, I do it like a more professional. Full time. Full time. What did you do before this? Like uh, when you say you had a normal life? Uh, I studied architecture. Oh, okay. You're, mm -hmm. okay. And I make a lot of uh, construction and maintenance to the uh, big projects. And did you, were you, were you happy doing that or were you? Yes, like, a lot. Okay. I'm doing, today I, I do not do much about it, but I, I still do it. You still do that just yes, because you I like, like doing it. <laughs> but your days are now filled with 30 calls yes. every More, day. No, 70. 70, 50, 50 yes. 70. Wow. And they're just like a few minutes each, you like know, get a, right yes, down to business. Five minutes. Yeah. So you're just calling back to back and just, mm -hmm. and do you remember all of the people you talk to? Like uh, Sometimes I don't remember the name, yeah. but I remember the life. Wow. Yeah, like I know you, the life. Just beyond your mind mm -hmm. in a way. Well, when I went, I'm with somebody, I can see uh, what they're thinking, what they're feeling. I can I can see the unconscious of mind yeah. and what they're doing something. I can see like a picture. And that's like... You know, 50% of people listening are going to be really interested, and then 50% are going to be... They're not going to do it. I, that's crazy. I yeah, know, exactly. Yeah. But 
But how how can people say that's crazy when society is so crazy? Mm -hmm. When there's so much divisiveness and anger and resentment, like why not be open to other things? Sometimes I, I, I question myself that. How the people can take like a true, something is not, if the true, they put it like a, it's, it's, it's a lie. Right. How they do that. Right. Is that's that's crazy for me. Yeah. Because the love is true. Right. But for a lot of people cannot say I love you. Right. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's um an interesting topic. Well, it's beyond interesting. Like when I, I, I had went and done a plant medicine journey recently and I had a realization that everything is love. Mm -hmm. That love manifests everything, creates mm -hmm. all. Yes. But it's hard for me to re-realize that. Like, it's like uh, I had the realization, I lost it. I sometimes re, like, because it's deeper than the thought, than the conception, than the, the concept. Yeah, it's something It's is an there. experience. Yes. It's, a, it's, it's being one with something that makes you experience that. Yes. And I try to remember that every day. Like, I wake up and I'll, and I'm like, I'm not there, but I'll go on my walk and I have a practice that brings me back to the energy that you, allows me to realize that. Do you want to be that. there? Yes. Close your eyes. Oh, but you're right. How do you feel? Amazing. Like a peaceful. Very, yeah. Just, and, and that was what, like five seconds, 10 seconds? Wow. It's right there. Yes. It's right there. It's like, sometimes you have to go do a plant medicine journey to get there, but it's it's right there. Mm -hmm. Because only you need to allow it. Allow it. That yes. was the thing. While, while my eyes were closed, my mind was like, oh, you're on camera, blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, just- You are distracted. Yeah, but I was fighting. Well, I was I was just trying to allow it, and then by the end of the five seconds, I had allowed it. And that's that's a great. Uh, what I did is I choked down your mind. Yeah, and right. That's it. And that's a great lesson for life. Mm -hmm. That's I was gonna ask you what's the purpose of life. That was my next question. For the humankind, experience the life. Experience it. That's it. Enjoy it. Experience. You can you can you can cry, or you can enjoy. It. It's experience. Non-duality. Just be... Whatever you, you are doing. There's no good and bad. Experience. I'm beyond, beyond the good and bad. Beyond the good and bad. I, I talk about the unity. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and a lot of life is just allowing, right? Yes. Letting go and allowing. Mm -hmm. Don't think much. And that a lot of people think they need to think everything. They need to have a logic in everything. They, and that's not the way. Well, it's because the way that they're brought up and, and groomed, you know, through the school system. Yes. Kids are taught that they need to get certain grades to be smart and accepted. Uh, then you're thrown into the world where you that need to That word is very to... powerful, accepted. It's very powerful. Yeah, I mean, and then uh, you have to imagine that you multiply all the things, you know, from your childhood with all the things by your adulthood and then, and then throw in your past traumas and experiences, which put a lens on all of your future experiences. It's really hard to let go and surrender. You feel like you're trying to hold on and you're slipping and you're holding on and you're fighting and you're putting a pickaxe in the ice to try to not slide down the wall. And that's how most people feel every single day. Yes, and there is uh, easy ways to live. Why wouldn't you live easily, right? Well, uh, the system wants to people move and do something. Yeah. And when you don't have the love in your life, you don't do nothing. Right. You keep you keep in the in the sofa seeing the Netflix or TV. Yeah. That's it. Just numb yourself. Mm -hmm. Cuz it's better than it's not as good as love, but it's better than, you know, yes. the the they need worry to push and the, the anger. people to some way. So what is the system? Oh, I don't want to talk much about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think people listening have an idea of what they think the system well, is. We, we we don't need to do not talk about con conspiracy. Right. It's not like that. It's more about how this r is running, you know? Right. And uh, they need to be like a organization of all, everything. And the, you, every, everybody hears these days more about uh, the globalization, mm -hmm. the uh, one order. Yeah. And some people say, ah, that's bad. Well, can be, but I, I, I think this. 
what happened if you shoot down in the city the power? Chaos. Yes. What 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 do you can expect and uh, what you can have, I don't know, five days after that? The, I mean, everything would destruction. be destruction. Yeah, destruction. A lot. <laughs> or I mean, what would happen if the power grid went out and people couldn't access their money and you know people couldn't access their phones people stopped working you at can, the grocery you cannot, stores you can you, you cannot have food you cannot have uh ac you cannot have well, gas for the for yeah. the nothing and people would panic people would be fending for themselves mm -hmm. they'd be stealing from Always others turn down the power turn down the power that's it yes because you need some kind of order yes for society yes and the, the system is doing that but there's too much well if you ride your consciousness until you don't need it, you're free. But if you are down of that, the system is going to be above you. And the system keeps a lot of people in a low frequency. Well, yes, but you can... You can transcend it. To, yes, that's yeah. the idea. And the system is not going to do nothing to you wrong because you don't need the system. It's okay. So I think... You, you know, you have a level of thinking that's beyond my level of thinking and beyond a lot of people listening's level of thinking. My level of thinking says if you're operating at a frequency that's below the system, right? Put a few habits in place. Get up early in the morning. Yes, don't look you at your phone. Go on a walk. I mean, for me, the when I go... Liner, liner creation, like you say. Yeah. You need that. You, the, but but, a, li but, but a, a linear creation for your, for your like, morning. Like, I'm not saying, like... I, I still, I think that the getting, for example, getting up and going for a, a for me, going for a run, I feel euphoric. It changes my brain. And then yes. from there, I, I, I feel as if I've already done what I want to do. And then I let go and I let the universe do its work. No, and that's very important because you have con consistency, con consistency, consistency, consistency. Yeah. You have also a fo focus in yeah. the morning that, that that's just helps a lot. Yeah. Yes. But I think someone like you, you're beyond that. You 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 don't need to be re reminded or re realize no. this stuff. I need to realize it every day. If I go two or maybe, three days, maybe until today. Maybe until today. Maybe. I mean, I have times through the day where I'm like, why am I stressed? What is the point of this? It's not helping me. It's only hurting me. Let it happen. Experience this. That's stress is like a, you have a, like a, a water running because only is up in the water. That's it. You don't yeah. have a purpose for that. Right. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of life is to experience it. Yes. Nothing else. If that was the taught to us as a young you know, person, we would have a lot less stress. Yeah. A lot less uh, low vibrational frequencies. And there is another thing very important. There is something else bigger than us is take care about us. That's already creating the future well, for us. In, in the creation... Everything is put together there. If you have a need, there is how you can answer that need. It's it already exists. Yes. Together. Right. There is not like a need and you don't know how to fulfill that need. No, no, it's there. Right. No worries. Yeah. And people are so separate from mm -hmm. like their solutions. They, yes. they think they're far away from their solutions. Yes. I think I'm far away from my solutions all the time. No, there is. There are. Only you need to. To allow yourself to see it. Yeah. That's really interesting. So the purpose of life is to experience it. Um, experiencing life. So so when you're experiencing life, let's say you're experiencing a, 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 a sad part of life. Yes. Does that change your vibration? Yes. But uh, if you are aware about the truth, about yourself, about your being, you don't go to that place. But... It's a place of non-duality, right? So you're saying you can be really happy or you can cry. Yes. Can you maintain a high vibration in both of those states? Yes, only if also you maintain a high vibration, there's a duality there. Right. That makes sense? Maybe you're not going to suffer like if you are down. Okay. But you can still experience low. it, but mm -hmm. at, from a different perspective. Yeah. It's like a, if we go there and ask to the people how much is how, how much money is a lot or is not. They're going to give a different level. Right, exactly, because mm -hmm. it's a different perspective. Yes, it's going to be the same. So, but you can go beyond of duality. You can go beyond duality. Yeah, it does very different. That when you are enlightened. And how many people in this world do you think are enlightened? Uh, I say a few. Yeah. In the history. In the history. Yeah, a few. 
Yeah. But today, there is something is can be open for a lot of people. That, so, that's the difference of this time. Yeah. That makes sense. Why is that? Is it just because that's just where we because are in this timeline? In, in the line thinking way, uh, in the line thinking way, or yeah. way of thinking, is because the evolution of the people. Got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't we don't can realize, but uh, the people I don't know, one thousand years ago is not the same like today. So you're saying a thousand years ago, the average person's vibration was lower. Yes, and also the thinking and the brain. That's why there was all war and yes. and you know drinking all the time. And I mean, I don't know what it was like a thousand years ago. I look at a, a TV show like yes. uh, Vikings or something, and you assume more, it was like that. Instinct. Yeah, instinctive. instinctive. Yes. Yeah, instinctual, more primitive. Mm -hmm. It was a lower vibration, so there was a, only a handful of people who to, were in today. That's what was the problem. Uh, a lot of people are in that way with a, a little consciousness. Ah. That makes sense. Yeah, and because of that, that behavior is better. Uh huh. But uh, when you ride your consciousness and your instinct is low, you are going to be better and better. Very interesting. So then, in because, history, because your goal is not going to be only eat, sex, right, have something, possess something, you know. Yeah, those are very much uh, three dimensional existings, low vibrational goals, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So in history, there's been a handful of people. I'm assuming. Religious figures like Jesus or Krishna or like the people Buddha. that have been written about the Buddha, those were enlightened beings. And they were able to have a ripple in history, not because they were the smartest or they were the hardest working, it was because their vibration was the highest. Yes. And that's why their legacy lives on so long. Yes. So people are working so hard to try to attain as much as they could, whereas it's more about letting go completely, mm -hmm. letting your vibration rise and letting and knowing that that's going to bring the biggest impact. Well, that's very important thing. When you stop everything, also, if you don't know, do know anything else, your vibration is going to rise. Mm, just by stopping. Yeah, because one of the things your vibration is not in better level is because you are putting a lot of things, um, um, uh, put, uh, put the things in the way. It's yes, like blocking or, or, you. Or, 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 Putting yourself like a... It's like weighing you down? Yes, weighing yeah. you down. Yeah, so, you. so just by letting go, your vibration is going to rise. Yeah, because you put it all together, all, all thing together in your back, you know? Yeah, so anyone listening right now, maybe uh, just take a moment, take a deep breath in and let go of, of whatever, you know, has been causing you stress and see how you feel right after. And because, that might because of that, start in the morning, walking, and maybe... Only looking the scenery is very important. Well, I, I personally wake up and have, I get bombarded with all my stressful thoughts first thing in the morning. And if I don't get, just get up and, and get out the door and just go put some music on and walk, they start to compound. But if I get out the door and put some music on a walk or run, I like re-realize like, okay, hold on a second. I'm good. Like, it's just, I don't know what it is, but for me, I do need to get up and get out. That, you're stopping everything. Yeah. And the exercise is, is helping to you to do that. It's just a, it's just something to do to stop everything for me. And, and you give your time for that. I, in this moment, I, only what I do, going to do is walk or run. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's been a really good practice for me. So do you, uh, do you believe that um, music has... Uh, I want to talk about music for a second. I know you, you've composed some music yes. yourself. Um, I think music plays a big part in my you know experience in life. What about music has such a profound uh, uh, effect on people. Well, we, we're talking about vibration. Yeah. And vibration has harmonies. Yep. The harmonies means uh, you have some uh, frequency here. Yeah. You're going to have the harmony of vibration when another thing is the same frequency. Ah, that so music sense? can change your, your frequency, frequency, essentially. Yes, a lot. That, that's because a lot of ways of the system use the music for... Lower the vibration. Yes. Oh yeah, I mean, if you look at most of pop culture right now, it's like on the border of like, you know, they, Satan worshiping. Like it's like, and they say a lot crazy. of very bad words. No bad words means uh, because it's the language, it's the the vibration. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, so like when I do my my walk in the morning, I call it the perfect walk. It's a five part walk. First part is opening your heart. Second part is feeling your unlimited power, mm -hmm. third part is letting living. go, mm -hmm. 
Fourth part is um, feeling connected with God or source or something higher. And the last part's a celebration. Mm -hmm. And I have music that goes along with all of it that in, induces those feelings. Mm -hmm. And it really changes yes. you. Yes. But so, but but society, like the. You, you can say that is, I think, because I, I know you more now, is that maybe that can be one of the first or the most important source of your success. The music? No, no, that, that whole process. That whole process. Walking, yes. Well, I'm writing a book right now called The Perfect Walk. It's about the walk. And I also just uh, engaged with a music composer, uh, and they're creating five tracks to go along for the first guided walk that we're doing. I can be that composer. <laughs> yeah, let's do one also. Yeah, I think that, that that's, um, people don't realize. And, 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 you know, people are listening to whatever is on the radio. Or, they don't or know whatever. what they're listening to. They don't know what the effect and, is. And, yes, they don't know nothing about it. Only... And, and that is very important thing to, to know is they don't care what you hear. If you hear it several times, you're going to take it. Right. Also, if something is wrong. Yeah. Now, I, I have this machine at my house called a biocharger. Have you ever heard of it before? No. Some of the people listening may have saw it on my like social media channels. It's this really cool device. Um, it has like a Tesla coil in the middle yes. of it. And it has um, light bulbs with different gases, which I guess have emit different light around it. And it emits electricity through the air at different frequencies. And you, if you hold a light bulb and you stand next to it, like the light bulb lights up. So there's electricity going through your body. And I've always been curious, does this thing, you know, it was like $15,000, the machine. It's not like something you go buy. I was like, does this thing actually do anything for me? And it, it's like, well, <laughs> it, but, but they claim, you know, diseases and viruses, they have a resonance frequency. So mm -hmm. if you can match that frequency, mm -hmm. you can destroy it or create it or change your well, brain frequencies. Let me this, like the music. The music is like a language. Yeah. And uh, we can talk about the old electro, uh, what's the name? Magnet. Electro Electromagnetic. Magnetic. Uh, frequencies. Frequencies. We can talk about all that. And, and that is like a, if you are playing like a baseball. Yeah. If somebody throws you the ball, and you have the bat, you need to wait until the ball is there and you can hit right. with the bat, the right. ball. That makes sense? Yeah. Or, or with the golf, you play golf. Yeah. You need to put, first of all, the, goal, the, the, the ball golf there, and yep. then you can you can hit it. Yep. But what's happening is, is the, the ball is not there. You cannot hit it. Right. You're going to hit the air. Right. It's the same with the frequencies. If you have some frequency... And you're thinking it's doing something, maybe yes, maybe not, because it's going to depends to the harmonies. Gotcha. Is they thinking can touch it or not? So it's, yeah. So you're saying if they have the right harmonies, it could be doing something. Yes, if not, they don't nothing. And that is the problem. They are advertising a lot of equipment or things or and they don't have the harmony. It's like a, they are telling you uh, you are hitting the ball, but when you can see it in that scientific way, you're not hitting nothing. Gotcha. Yeah, and I, I would love for you to see the the machine and the research that they've done because they 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 have like eleven hundred different recipes and they all go. I want to I want to see, or, or, or I hope so I want to see one day. Yeah, it's called the biocharger. We'll we'll link it in the show notes so you guys could check it out too. But yeah, it's they claim to you know measure the frequency of all these different things. Let and me explain it. you this. Uh, maybe a machine can help us with something. Mm -hmm. We can we cannot say we don't, cannot have any. Um, I don't know, um, good things of that, like uh, the, the music, it helps a lot, it's like a language, we can use it for higher frequency, but uh, also that machine can, can, can do something, but nobody, there's not going to be nothing like the consciousness. Gotcha, it's that's not, the ultimate. Yes, you, yeah. you cannot find outside you right. what you can. You already have inside you. Right, 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 which is... Again, it's something you have to realize every day, or you have to you have to re-realize that. Yes, it easily slips away, and you and can have some equipment to help you. That's good. Yeah, but you cannot forget for yourself. What are your thoughts on um, like supplements or coffee or you know? Well, if you need it, take it. Yeah, but if you need it, it's the same. That's not going to do nothing for you because yeah. you don't need it. Right, and our body take only what we need, but if we talk about today the nutritional we are we, we, we can have when I think it's a supplement 
needed yeah. in, in that in, in this time, you know? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, like when I drink coffee before I go for a run, I get more euphoria. Which well, yeah, because the coffee brings you the like you have like a a part of a, a store energy. Yeah. And when you drink coffee, you 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 take can take that energy. Yeah. That one. But if you take a lot of coffee, yeah, then you you don't have nothing because yeah. <laughs> because of your lack of that energy, you don't, you are yeah. storing nothing. You need to give some time to the to the body to restore the, 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 the energy. So you don't think, you know, supplements or coffee gets in the way of consciousness or you don't think it make, makes a difference? If you if you take the coffee with consciousness, yeah. when you need it, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. But you take coffee and coffee and coffee. That's just your mind being impulsive, yes. which lowers yes. your vibration. <laughs> also, if your mind's impulsive and you continuously do a behavior that you think is not good, you start to look at yourself as you know, you, you lose confidence, right? You're like, I can't control myself, which lowers your vibration, mm -hmm. which gets in the way of consciousness, right? Or, or it doesn't, I don't know if those words are right, but it, it lowers your vibration one way or another if you're impulsive and you make impulsive behaviors. Mm -hmm. So if you do it consciously, it's fine. Yes. Yeah, that's always something. With, with, a, with, with a purpose. 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 Yeah. yeah. That's the word I, I need to, to have more in mind. So this has been a very interesting, um, deep conversation. This is probably something that if you listen to two or three times, it may like you and I have had two conversations already. So my brain's already primed. You know, I've been kind of in this realm in this world, understanding ourselves, our consciousness for a while for first time listeners, people that are, you know, newer to, to learning about ourselves. Um, you might want to listen to this a couple times. Um, do you have any kind of, you know, general messages that you'd want to share to listeners or anything that you want to get out mm -hmm. while we're here? Well, I think that's very important to allow ourselves to be free, to be happy, to enjoy the life. And the British people forget that. Yeah. And we need to bring that for today and say to ourselves, I can be free. I can be happy. I, I, I can enjoy the life. It's the same if I do it and if not, only mm. is where I am. It's the same whether I do it or if I don't, but it's just how I'm experiencing it essentially, yes. right? One more thing. Does doing this work, uh, I don't want to call it work, right? It's the opposite of work. Does the letting go and allowing, um, does that add value to society? If I start behaving this way, if I start letting go, right? If I start living free, if I'm not actually doing anything, right? If I'm not writing books or speaking, if I'm just at my home and I'm feeling differently, does that yes. change the, the world? What I what I share is to make a better world. That's one of my sentences. Yeah. To make a better world. How we make a better world? Each of one. Yeah. If you are better being, you are doing a better world. Yeah. Because the world of the humankind world is about issue one. So in doing this, you're actually, it's a selfless act. Yes. You're not just doing it for yourself. You're actually no. helping others yes. in the process. In, and you are open the door for the next generations. And then I, another topic I just do want to touch on because it was something I wanted to bring up and I, I had forgotten to talk about it until now. You know, there's a lot of our cities uh, in the United States, I'm sure around the world, that are going through a lot of hell right now, right? There's like Philadelphia, San Francisco, even Austin, you know, New York, there's like a huge homelessness problem. Are those people, like the people that are homeless, that are on drugs, that, are, that have, are just at the lowest possible vibrational state, does it get lower than that? And is there a way out of that for those people? Yes, but uh, first of all, they need to have the will to, to get out of that. Yeah. Because when you try to help that kind of people, you can have different reactions. Yeah. Maybe somebody wants to go out of that kind of life and they don't have not, they don't know, they don't know how and you can help it. Yeah. But a lot of people say, nah, this is my life. I don't care about it. Don't nothing. you think they all want to get out, but that maybe their minds are just getting in the way? No, there are people that want to be want there. To live that that, that's crazy to, to understand it. But I, also we help that kind of people sometimes. Yeah. And we have, we, we, we have, we know the stories about the peoples. Right. And you can understand it, who wants to go out of there 
or who wants, or, or we can say maybe that's not the moment for them because they want they want to be there a little bit more. Maybe in some time or some point they're going to change. Yeah. But in that moment they want to be there. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I often think about you know how do we make this world a better place, and and you, your attention typically goes to the areas that are most obvious. No, that's that, that's start with yourself. Yeah. Start no, with with, with, no, with the people you think that are in the bad situation, you know. Yeah. And the well, like you are talking about the homeless, it's the same. The the addicts on the, the who takes drugs or something, it's the same. Yeah. Somebody wants to go out of the drugs. And a lot of people wants to be there. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Um, Carlos, very great conversation. Thank you for, you know, opening and sharing with everyone. Um, you guys can uh, check out the show notes for anything that we we discussed will be linked here. Um, definitely check out Carlos. Where, where can they find you? Uh, any- Carlos Arco. Carlos Arco, look him up. A lot of his content is in Spanish, um, but I'm assuming that in the near some, future. Some videos are with with letters there yeah chapter. yeah and, and we'll be maybe uh working together to to help get your message uh further Please. here yes. uh in mm-hmm. the united states but hope you guys enjoyed the episode and um hope it invoked some new thoughts and patterns that might help make a change and make life better thanks carlos thank you thank you all for everything is hidden to us absolutely God bless you, everybody.